I was expecting to have a bit of tears because it's our first time away since he was born. Hello. Ben, hello. Kitty. He's a kitty. Hey. 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 Okie dokie, it's the first day without the Kiddlywinks. They are all either at kindy or at school today. So I am hanging out with my sister and we're going to keep my mind occupied. We had that beautiful breakfast and I was a little bit sad when I saw a bobby, but we are now going up shopping. So come with us as we find some bargains here on the sunny coast. finished op shopping and we're now going to grab some lunch and chill for a little bit before we have to head back down to do the school run for all three kiddos but the biggest blessing is our childcare center uses an app that does updates and I've seen both Phineas's and Zoe's update and the kids look like they're having a blast as much as I'm missing them I know that they are in perfectly good hands and I'm really enjoying my day and we found so many bargains <laughs> So now, Such a good day. Yeah, now to refuel our bodies yes. and then get ready for the afternoon. the best of times that we completely forgot that time was uh, escaping from us so we're currently running a little bit late to do pick up but this is best case scenario for my first day without Finn and just all three kids is that I've had such a great day that I wasn't even keeping track of the time so I've quickly called ahead and mum is gonna help me with Amira we've created a game plan and Rach is gonna go home and pick up the minivan so that we can transfer all three kids home but I need to give Finn a feed because I am quite sore because this is Finn's second feed for the day and uh, nursery called up giving me an update saying that he hasn't had any food which is fine I don't really care but he does need this feed so created a plan hopefully it's gonna work out but yeah it's been such a great day What an amazing first day. I honestly could not have planned this any better. I feel like today really could have gone up into the skies and been super duper happy or I could have been depressed. And I'm really glad that I'm having this transition week where I'm able to settle the kids into daycare life before I have to worry about the logistics of going back into full-time work. 
Yes, there were moments where I saw babies today and I felt so sad because today was my first day away from Finn. But the fact that Rachel and I were running late for school pickup is a testimony to how amazing today was and how much we enjoyed each other's company and just it was a really good distraction for me and my brain and my heart because I wasn't focusing on missing my baby. We arrived right on 3 o'clock which was a little bit close for call. I could tell that I needed to feed Finn which is really interesting because on the whole weaning process it's only been two other days that I have dropped our 11 o'clock feed and today I didn't even notice the difference. So I think my body is adjusting to not doing that feed which is good because when I go back to work I'm not going to miss Finn because all of a sudden I feel a letdown or feel the urge to feed him which is going to be great but yeah I fed him at three I then picked up Zoe we got a mirror and then came home and I put Finn to bed because I noticed on his sleep schedule he had a 40 minute nap this morning which is fine it's his first sleep in a cot and in a new environment and then his midday sleep was an hour 20 which is my ideal goal for him for his rest but because he woke up around 1 20 by 3.20 he was tired. This is honestly the best case scenario because Finn is sleeping, the kids are having their afternoon tea, I'm able to breathe a little bit, process today, and just get ready for our nighttime routine and hopefully have an early night. But if you are going back to work and you're watching this video because you're wondering what it's like to leave your kids for the first time, I highly recommend if you are able to do it, to have a transition week where you can put the kids into care, treat yourself for a little bit. I haven't gone shopping for me since even before I was pregnant and it was great because I was able to pick up items that I'm looking forward to wearing to work and items that I don't necessarily have to have breastfeeding friendly and it's just really great to have some me time. So this week is going to be full of things like getting my hair done, doing some odd jobs around the house and just mentally preparing myself but also being on call if anything were to happen like today when I got the phone call about Finn. Um, not eating his finger foods or puris, I was able to take it because I wasn't at work. But just reflecting on today, I really feel like everything that I've been doing in the lead up for this week and for next week of me going back to full time work, I think I've taken the steps in the right direction and I feel at peace, which is really great because two weeks ago I got wry neck because I was so stressed out about going back to work. But I think everything is just working out really well and things are falling into place so well and I am just relieved to be honest. If you have enjoyed today's video please give it a big thumbs up it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified when we upload every Monday and Thursday because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book we only have each other and I'll see you in my next video which will be my op shop haul. Bye!